Hello, welcome to another beautiful sunny day here in western New Jersey. Today we're going to go over how to set up your base station and antenna in a permanent location. Now we have ours here in the middle of somewhat of open field uh, on a garden post on a corner. This gives us some stability and also gives us a clear view of the sky. Now we'll go over all the parts in a little bit, but just generally you can see that we have the antenna. We have a power source, which is a solar charger. And then we have the ZF9P module here. All right, let's go take a closer look at the parts we're using. All right, starting at the top here, here is our antenna. It's a Harkson GPS 1000 GNSS antenna. The reviews on this thing were really good, so we went with this one. There's also a GPS 500 model, which is like a step down, but we went with the 1000. Now this has a TNC mail connector coming out of that. So we just bought an adapter. It goes down to a SMA cable, SMA female adapter. So then we have our SMA cable coming down and into our uh, ZF9P module. Now our power here is supplied by this 12 volt solar battery charger. They sell these pretty much anywhere. They're specifically made for uh, trail cams so that they can be powered all the time without replacing the batteries. But this seemed to fit the bill perfectly for what we needed. Now you'll notice that comes down, that provides 12 volts, but we needed a five volts for our ZF9P. So we have this CPT converter. It takes the 12 volts and converts it down to a five volt. That on one end, the output goes to a female USB connector, which you can take a regular USB-C cable and connect it to your power line on your ZF9P like we did before. And on the 12 volt inside, you have a red wire and a black wire. Now, to get the power connected to your 12 volt solar charger, you're gonna need one of these guys. It's a 12 volt, 5.5 millimeter, by 2.1 millimeter adapter. You can get these anywhere. I got these on uh, Amazon. But once you uh, connect that to your red and black, then you can hook it up to the, the male adapter that comes with the 12 volt solar charger. And then of course we have our ZF9P module. Now it's exactly the same as we had set up previously in our previous video for how to set up the base and rover. So there weren't really any that many changes there. Now we have still the 915 megahertz SICK radio on here. It's like a 3DR radio. And that is actually transmitting the corrections over to uh, our base laptop inside of the, the building about 100 yards away. One other note here, you'll notice that we are using a flagpole mount to hold our one foot extension, the tripod uh, survey pole extension, to hold up our uh, GPS antenna. Now if we needed to, we could take this, unhook this, unscrew this, and mount our antenna on our survey pole, say if our project was out of state or more than 20 kilometers away we could make this whole unit mobile again what we would do is we would unhook this uh, zf9p module it's just held in by velcro we could take this out and mount that on our survey tripod and the whole unit would be mobile now, one thing to remember, whenever you move your base location, your base antenna, you're going to need to do a survey in process, and that's in use center, unless you know of the specific location. If you have a geographic marker that has already previously been surveyed. Otherwise, you'll want to do at least four. We did 24 hours survey in, and that really locked in the coordinates so we can put that 
in fixed mode in use center and then we put in those the lat long and altitude other things to consider are weather depending on where you are now we may want to eventually enclose this in plexiglass in the front we have to test that out to make sure the signal isn't deprecated at all um, i don't suspect that should we're not really sending that signal that far so it should be okay now after you have it in fixed mode you'll be able to run it 24 7 and run it over your intrep caster if you have it set up like we do we're using snip and rtk to go if you haven't seen the previous video go check that out and that'll give you a little bit better instructions on how to get that going otherwise hopefully this gets you set up in the right path and getting your base location your base station antenna set up in a permanent location and have it independent of power which is kind of helpful now stay tuned in a couple of weeks we should have another video out we're updating our rover module with a more robust sd card logger which is connected to our duino this provides us more stability in when we're doing ppk missions we don't have to count on bluetooth which likes to drop off and then you lose your ppk corrections your log everything so having an sd card or sd card logger is really going to help in that situation all right until then thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon